Hello, welcome to another episode of Off The Beaten Pot. I'm very excited for today's episode because we are doing something different, something for those with a sweet tooth. Rum flambéed bananas, and this is a real soul lifter. For this recipe you will need one firm banana, one small orange or clementine, a teaspoon of butter or olive oil, a miniature bottle of rum or brandy and powdered milk with a dash of cinnamon for the double cream mix. So we've got our trancher on to full heat to get that butter nice and hot and when it starts sizzling we're going to drop this on about half to control the temperature. You don't want it to burn, but you want to get it really hot. And then we're going to take our banana. And these bananas, they're not too soft, they're not too hard, they're Goldilocks, they're just right. What we're going to do, split it lengthways, then into little bits, about cut it into thirds, and put it in the butter. And then just make sure that all of the bananas, all the banana is coated in that butter. And we're just gonna cook that off in the butter until it's nice, brown, slightly glazed. And then periodically, we're just gonna turn these bananas over until they're nice and evenly brown. Because if you get them when they're too ripe, they go too squishy for this. They still work, but you want them, I guess, slightly underripe and that way when they crisp up that's all the better and the hotter you can get the oil first also that's really good for allowing them to keep firm and sear rather than soak in all that butter you can also use olive oil for this recipe margarine if you have it um, any oil really but the best flavors will be from butter and from olive oil next we're going to get our orange and then squeeze it in to the banana and then you've got a healthy snack while you're waiting for this to finish and while that's browning off and cooking off get your spare pot and we're going to add our cream mix this is our powdered milk with a dash of cinnamon and all you're really doing is making an incredibly thick milk so whatever your recipe says is just double the amount of powder to milk and it's that easy. And make sure you give it a nice stir so that all of the lumps have gone. Periodically checking on your banana. The reason I'm using this today is um, I realized I left my grabber somewhere. I don't think it's out on the trail. I think it's somewhere in my tip of a room, but um, I'll find it. Until then, I'm using this. And if you haven't had the chance, get back to whisking your cream, your cream mix. And now the exciting part, at least I think it's the exciting part, and that's where you get your miniature. In this I've used um, rum, because I love rum. Um, you can also use brandy for this. Brandy works really well. And what you're gonna do is you pour this into the mixture, not all of it. The rum is high molasses content, obviously, but that's gonna now camera caramelize the banana somewhat, as well as the flame in the heat, it will flambe them. So this is not one, and I repeat, not one, to do inside the tent or even the vestibule because that will catch fire really quickly. This is definitely an outdoors, plenty of space recipe. And then once that bit of the alcohol has gone in, add a tiny bit more, keeping well clear. You can hear it catch, it sort of goes whoomp, and if it doesn't go whoomp, just use your lighter and that will make it catch for sure. Oh, it smells very alcoholic. 
Lovely. Kill the flame. Finally, adding a bit of cream. Mm. Serve that up to your friends and enjoy legend status. Rum, flambe bananas with cinnamon cream. Please let me know what you'd add, maybe raisins, maybe you do something completely different. Let me know in the comments below. And for those of you who don't know, there is still a giveaway going for a Tranja 27 non-stick ultralight cook set that closes on August the 16th of 2019. So please check out that video and be in with the chance to enter if you so wish to win a Tranja 27. If not, then please just consider subscribing, hitting the like button, doing the YouTube thing so I can see you in another episode of Off the Beaten Pot. Cheers and gone.